Hello, Fake Hero here. Uh, new champion Sir Giovanni, uh, new cards. Let's have a look. All right, so we have five new cards to have a look at here. Uh, six if you include the secondary version of Sir Giovanni. So we have the Fury of the North. Give an ally plus four, plus four this round. Opens up options for mid-range decks for Fjord Moor. They've already got some similar stuff going on with Ash. This could be a new theme. Uh, we might be able to see some more support for that kind of archetype. So pretty uh, flexible. Four mana, give them an info for its burst, which is also really important because we haven't got as much of these combat tricks that are bursty like this. So that might be a bit of an oversight, but I believe that this could be very helpful and at least giving an identity to the Fjord more. Uh, Rufus Raider. This is very interesting. I was having a look at this prior to this. So this card is actually really strong. It is against Shadow Isles specifically, right? Uh, the Vile Feast is a very popular card. Withering Whale is a very popular card. This is tough. Literally. The Overwhelm is kind of interesting too. Uh, it just adds a bit more uh, value to it. So there might be a place for this somewhere. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, Ember Maiden, round start. Deal one damage to everything. Are they just like bringing out this card to counter spiders? I'm not sure. Stormclaw Ursine or Urusine. Urine. No. Uh, 5 mana 6 6 with a tag as well. That's interesting. That's very, very high valued. Plus an effect too. So not only is this Overwhelm, 5 mana 6 6, it also brings an effect that other allies with 5 plus power have Overwhelm. You see a theme going on here, can't you? Uh, that card seems pretty strong. Have to wait and see what the theme of the decks look like. If you would even need your Stormclaw for your Sejuani deck. Okay, but most importantly, guys, new champion Sejuani. Uh, Overwhelm, 6 mana, 5, 6. Play. Give an enemy Frostbite. Cool. And vulnerable. So vulnerable is going to be the new keyword. Uh, basically, when a unit is vulnerable, it is able to be pulled up as if your units are challenger. Basically, it can be challenged by any of your units, from what I understand. Uh, to level it up, you would have needed to do f damage to the enemy nexus five different rounds this game. Not an unreasonable uh, requirement. A leveled up form turns it into a 6-7, still 6 mana. Overwhelm, uh, give an enemy frostbite and vulnerable, same as before. The first time you see the damage to the enemy nexus, nexus each round, frostbite all enemies. That's pretty interesting. Very similar to Ash. Like I can already see like an Ash and Sejuani. There's already a lot of synergy there, uh, but I'm just not sure like what what you cut and what you focus on. Because at the moment we've got like the Ash mid range, which is like super controlly. Semi controller, it's got a bit of tempo to it. Mostly, I think you might have to argue it's probably more of a tempo deck, actually. But you rely heavily on cards like the uh, Glacial Frostbite, sorry, I think it's called Frostbite, and I forget the name of it, six mana uh, Frostbite two enemies, burst spell. Maybe there's a uh, room for a more tempo variant. But then I wouldn't be sure if you'd run Stormclaw in that deck. Anyway, guys, I'll leave you with this. I'll leave you with this image here for another few seconds. You can gather your thoughts. Uh, leave in the comments below what you guys think about these cards. Discuss it. I want to know. I want to learn. We can learn together. Uh, do you have any ideas for a deck already after having only a brief look at these cards? I'll leave you guys alone. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Also, uh, come check out my uh, Twitch. I've left a link in the description. I'm streaming uh, every day except for Thursday at the moment. That will be at 4 p.m. AED time, which I'm sure for a majority of viewers uh, there might be a bit awkward time for you guys to come check me out, but regardless, I'll be here on YouTube. Peace.